Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, and I have a few things I needed to go over today because I have been gone for a little while now, a little bit longer than I've wanted to be gone, and I really wanted to sit down and explain what's been going on in my day-to-day -day life, why that's been happening, but it just pads everything out and there's really no point to it. I might go over some of that later on in the in another video, I don't know, but suffice to say, I'm okay, I've just had some stuff going on. And it's gotten in the way of everything, but I'm really trying to get everything in my life, not just with this, like in my whole life. I'm trying to get everything kind of back on track. And this isn't the only thing that's been suffering because of it. But uh, anyways, I'm kind of getting getting back into, I hit my microphone, I apologize. I'm kind of getting back into everything a little bit and working on making everything in my life better. And one of the main things I want to do is really increase the quality of the content that I put on Twitch and on YouTube because one thing I learned from Black Ops 4 other than the fact that Black Ops 4 is significantly worse than I really wanted it to be is that my computer despite being relatively recently put together and being really powerful it cannot simultaneously play a new game on its max settings and stream it at those settings um because it's really, streaming is surprisingly hard on your computer because you gotta think you're taking all of that data that the computer is already working hard to render and you're encoding it and compressing it and sending it down the pipeline to Twitch and that's a lot of work on a single computer despite how powerful it is. And I'm going to have to change my setup. I'm gonna have to, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. I'm going to change my entire setup with how I do this. I'm actually going to create a dual PC system that a lot of streamers actually use, a lot of PC streamers, because, like I said, it's a lot of work for your uh, computer to render a high-end game and stream it simultaneously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my computer that I have built right now that I'm pointing to that you can't see, I'm going to have that as the workhorse computer. It's GPU heavy. It's really good at, at rendering games. I can play any game at max settings, 60 FPS, 2K, 4K, anything like that. Um, I'm going to have it work as the computer that runs the game, and then I'm going to run it through a capture card into another PC that I have yet to build that's going to be processor heavy that's going to work on streaming the game. It's going to be the same concept as like plugging your console into a capture card and streaming it that way. The console does all the work for the game, the computer does all the work for the streaming. It's going to be the same same concept but with two PCs as opposed to a console and a PC. So that's the big change that I'm going to come across in the future for things. But uh, that's going to be a little ways down the pipeline. But there's really no high-end games that are coming out soon enough for it to be a problem. I'm just going to basically get it ready for games like Doom Eternal, um, Halo Infinite obviously because Halo Infinite is coming to PC and any other kind of big game that I want to play once I hit that point. Um, let's see, what else am I wanting to go over? Oh, you might notice I'm not wearing my hat right now. That's because I'm trying to get more comfortable with my physical appearance. The reason I wear a hat when I stream and everything isn't because I want to be funny or have a gimmick. It's because I'm going bald. I'm almost 30. I'm still 29. I'm almost 30, but I'm already going bald. And so I'm kind of trying to get over that. But what I'm noticing right now is my light above me is actually reflecting off my head. And that might mess with my green screen a little bit. So I might have to wear a hat or some type of head covering regardless because my head is too bald and shiny. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm working on getting the different peripherals and everything that I need. I got a new uh, 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 radius, um, a shock mount for my microphone so that I don't have to lay it on the desk anymore. So when I hit keyboard keys and stuff, I don't and make noises on the desktop. It's not echoing and vibrating the microphone. I got a pop filter again. I need to get a windscreen for it just so uh, ambient noise gets a little more blocked out. But so far, so good with all of that stuff. I need to get another monitor because my nice 4K monitor took a dive. It, it just died. And obviously, the warranty had already run out on it. So, you know, that's nice. But uh, I need, I'm right now using my uh, 1080p monitor and then this weird little monitor, an AOC monitor that's VGA based that has some weird 16 by 10 resolution. I want to replace that with a 1080p monitor, which the 1080p's are getting cheaper and cheaper anyway, so that's not going to be a big deal. But uh, we'll, we'll get, I'll get one of those and I'll make everything nice and consistent between the two monitors because right now dragging stuff around and moving stuff and then moving to another screen and watching it shrink and stretch and do all these weird things is really awkward. Plus, I'm going to need to have my monitor set up so I have one monitor that focuses on streaming and uh, the streaming setup and one that focuses on the game because I'm going to have to use HDMI splitters and keyboard mouse, keyboard monitor mouse switches and everything like that. So 
it's it's gonna be a little bit of a process, but this is what this is my hobby, so I I really like doing this. Um, and speaking of hobbies, I've really, I mean, I I've, I think I've talked about this before, but I've really come to the just the conclusion that this is just enthusiast hobbying for me now. The streaming, the YouTubing. If I ever become big off of it, okay, cool, great. If not, oh well, you know, you know, I still have fun producing the videos, playing the games, commentating, everything like that, because I. I have a really good job. The job that I have, I really like it. It pays really well. It has great benefits and everything. I don't want to, I'm not going to get rid of that job ever, probably. I'm probably going to retire from the place I'm working at, hopefully, uh, assuming it never shuts down or I get fired for some stupid reason. So the streaming and stuff, it's going to go right, just like right to hobby, which is kind of a really good thing because I don't have to worry about monetization um, unless, I, of course, I become, for some reason, like a really big personality or something. I don't have to worry about, you know, copyright stuff because I won't have to monetize it. So like I can do Nintendo stuff because Nintendo will just come and monetize it regardless because Nintendo's stupid. But uh, they'll they'll just do stuff. I won't have to worry about them. Um, uh, I'll still have to avoid copyright strike stuff, but that'll be a lot easier when I'm not trying to monetize things. You seem to get hit more at those when your channel becomes monetizable. Um, like I used to be monetized, but I kind of eliminated that. I asked uh, Curse Network to take away my monetization because... I was making so little money off of it that it was just enough to mess with my taxes, but not enough to be worth it. So just for tax purposes, I had to eliminate it because it was complicating everything substantially. Um, but I'm going to also go through my channel. I'm going to purge a lot of content that's on it. I'm going to have to start abandoning big, lengthy titles. I can't finish Grim Dawn. I can't tackle those big, big games like that. Um, which scares me for like the next Skyrim. I might try that because Skyrim, I don't have to do all the side quests and stuff. I can just kind of, or the next Elder Scrolls, I should say. I don't have to focus on all the side quests. I can just go as I please and just finish the main quest. And if it's popular enough, I can just go around and kill things and do side quests and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to have to abandon Grim Dawn. I'm going to go through and purge a lot of content that's unfinished. Um, I'm going to wipe... Um, the messenger because I actually plan on replaying that because I don't like how the playthrough went through on Twitch. It was kind of fun and everything, but I can do better in terms of my comment, my, my commentary and everything. And the game is really good and I can just go through, I can blow through it a little bit quicker. And I also want to change how I do my thumbnails. I want to, I want to basically s segment this era where I'm changing how I'm doing all the streaming and everything, how I'm switching over to streaming by changing how I do my thumbnails, I want to draw them by hand, like on paper, color them with a mix of color pencils and marker and everything, and then either photograph that or scan it and translate that to the thumbnail. Um, something to make it look more unique so that it sticks out a little bit more. Add some kind of like maybe maybe a, a translucent border kind of thing to it and just make it so it pops out a little bit better. So people go like, they can see that they go, oh, Matt did that because it's, it's hand drawn. You can tell he colored it in with color pencil and everything. And so that's kind of what I'm going for with that. So there's going to be a lot of things that are going to change on here. I'm sorry that I have to abandon some stuff and wipe some stuff and purge some things. And I have to change around channels, make a new art assets and everything. I got a lot of stuff I want to do to make this channel really as good as I want it to be. Um, uh, there's been a, like, I, I, did I go over that? There's been a lot of stuff in my life. Yeah, that's been messing with all of this, has been suffering. And I'm getting all of that under control slowly, but surely. It's just, everything's going to take time. And um, I'm noticing my subscribers are actually really starting to drop on YouTube. So I really want to, I'm probably going to need like another week or so to kind of get all this thing, all this stuff in order. And we'll just go from there. We'll just go from there. Um, I'll, I'll play through a lot of games that I just want to play through. Uh, there's games like um, I want to replay through The Messenger again. I want to do Shovel Knight because I started it and I never finished it. Uh, looking at my my shelf of games that I have up here. Um, I want to replay the Halo titles. I want to play through them again on Leg uh, Legendary. Unfortunately, I sat down to practice a little bit, and I'm really bad. It's been so long since I played. I was struggling on normal difficulty at first. I had to actually bump it down to easy just to get used to holding a controller again. And um, But once I moved to like Halo 3 and Halo 4 and Halo 5, it felt better, and I think that's because those games were more designed with the 16x9 uh, HD resolutions in mind, the, the view. 
Um, Halo 1 and 2 I had trouble with, and I think that actually is the main culprit, is the fact that they weren't designed to be widescreen HD games to begin with. So we'll see how that goes. Once I get used to that, I'll, I'll, I'll play through those again. I really want to do that. And that'll be easier because those are mission segmented. So I can just play like a few missions and stop and play a few missions and stop. Uh, what else do I want to play through? I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff I want to hit. Uh, maybe the God of War games because I have a PS3 that I bought off a friend. I have, a, I have the God of War 1 and 2 collection that I can pick up God of War 3. I don't have a PS4 for God of War 4. But uh, I can do the old ones. There's a lot. There's a lot of things I can do. I can. I have my GameCube. I can still do Metroid Prime. I love Metroid Prime, and Metroid Prime Four is going to be coming out. So I want to try and play that. There's a lot of things I want to do. I have a lot of games I want to try and, and, and just play through and have some fun with. I wanna. I wanna recapture that 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 essence of being a kid and playing a fun game and just enjoying it. And that means stepping away from the really competitive stuff and just. Playing something that I enjoy to enjoy it, and I hopefully can translate that enjoyment through through the interwebs to everybody watching. And uh, so that's pretty much it. This video has gone a lot longer than I intended it to. I had a lot to get off my chest, and there's a lot there's a lot going on in my head right now. And uh, I'll, I'll I'll get everything set up and everything sorted out, and we'll be okay. And we'll ha we'll have some fun here in a couple of weeks. I'll start streaming again. Um, I'll we'll have a good old time. I'll be better about getting VODs up as well. I know I'm really bad about that. So, but with a dual PC setup, I'll be able to have two keyboards. I'll be able to put in a, the, I'll be able to hit the hotkeys to put in the breaks and the the highlight moments and the and the markers on the stream on Twitch. So I'll be able to segment things a little bit better and and find find fun moments. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So look forward to that in the next coming couple of weeks or so. I'm going to go through and rearrange my channel and just get things ready. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. About burp. <laughs> my name is Matt. I'll see you next time.